Hello. So today I want to do just a quick video on this guitar here, which you might have seen in a couple of my other videos. Um, this is actually one that I made and designed myself. You can see the headstock there is a logo I designed, which says Caro, uh, which is like Caradine, the name of this channel. Um, now the neck, I did buy that from online. Uh, so I didn't make that myself, but the body, uh, the pick guard and everything else about this design, um, I did make myself. Now, obviously it's basically, I kept it fairly simple for my first build. So, um, it's just a slab of, I think it's older. Um, and it's a two piece. You can see the two sides there. And with these string through ferrules, I actually drilled the holes or, um, I had drilled the holes a little bit unevenly. So it's a little bit of, um, a rough job there, but it does get the job done. The color is cherry red. It's a cherry red stain. And I covered that with, I think it was true oil, just a couple of layers of that. Um, same with the neck. I did true oil on the neck. So I kept, I tried to keep it fairly simple for the first, um, build. Obviously if I was going to do this again, I'd put in a contour cut and, uh, the belly cut and I'd do a lot more rounding on the edges and I'd probably do like a clear, maybe a clear nitro finish. Um, so obviously the electronics are very Telecaster inspired. <laughs> so it has a Seymour Duncan hot rails in the bridge, a Mustang pickup, and it's a genuine, uh, vintage Fender Mustang neck pickup. It does sound pretty nice. Um, so at the moment it is on the neck uh, pickup. Uh, this is what it sounds like running through um, Amplitube 5. And this is just an orange clean amp. quite nice and so the interesting thing about the switches here so yeah I, I took uh, inspiration from the Mustang guitar switches um, now these do currently act in the same way as the Mustang so when I put the top switch um, that controls the neck pickup so all the way down is the uh, neck pickup um, on its own um, because this one's in the middle, that's off. So uh, middle is off. So both pickups are actually off. Um, so middle is both pickups off. And then when you switch this one up, it turns it on, but in out of phase mode. To be honest, I actually have kind of forgotten. Yeah, and so this one's all the way down and this one's all the way up. Um, so that's neck and bridge. And so in this configuration, it's out of phase. And then if you actually put this one all the way down again, um, it puts them in phase and that's both of them on. Um, yeah, and so then this is the volume, obviously, and then this one used to be a tone knob, but I had my guitar tech wire it to be um, a split coil. So it splits the bridge. When you turn it all the way off, um, it splits the bridge to a single coil. So this is the bridge on its own. And then if you turn it all the way up, it puts it back into um, humbucking mode. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so when you turn, when you have this in humbucking mode, you can obviously switch the bridge pickup on and the neck pickup on. Um, so it's humbucking that in a single coil. And then turn the bridge off and you have the neck on its own. Yeah, and so this current configuration is, has been pretty good. It's fairly versatile. Um, this is just the neck in humbucking mode. And 
And if you turn this down all the way off again, that splits it. So now it's bridge only in single coil mode. <laughs> Humbucking. Um, yeah, and then if I put the bridge in single and the turn the neck on, so it's like two single coils, so it's a little bit like a Telecaster. Yeah, so that's basically everything. I also have the vintage style locking tuners, the Goto. So as I say, this has been an excellent uh, setup for me, but I have a couple of different parts and I'm gonna change the pickups and I'm gonna make the pick guard black and I'm gonna change it to look like the picture that I have here now. Um, it's gonna have these Seymour Duncan uh, P rails. Um, so I'll be able to get the single coil-ish kind of sound with the P90 and a, a humbucker on both pickups. And I'll use this switch to go between single uh, series and the P90 for both pickups. And I have a volume on that one. I'm gonna put the Artec BCU and EXP uh, active preamps into it as well. So it's gonna be a lot more versatile and it will look a little bit different. I'm also going to move the pickup jack to the bottom of the guitar because as it is now, I'm a little bit worried that when I pull on this uh, jack to pull out the jack, to pull out the cable, uh, I didn't put a screw on this part of the pick guard, so I'm worried that it might bend or uh, break that part there. So yeah, when I get the upgrades done, I'll make another video about how it sounds. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I guess I would kind of miss the single coil uh, in the neck, it's really nice. Um, you can get some... So yeah, I'm hoping the P rails will still be able to give me that neck single coil. Um, but if they don't, I just see what I can do with the preamp uh, and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to really show you, um, yeah, a quick look at this guitar, kind of for posterity's sake. So when I change this, I'll still have a video showing what it looked like uh, and, and what it sounded like as well. So hope you found that interesting uh, and look forward to the next video.